read from 1 Thessalonians. Chapter 5. Verse 6. 1 Thessalonians. Thessalonica. Chapter 5. Verse 6. 1 Thessalonians. Thessalonica 5 6. The destructive sleep. The destructive sleep. First Thessalonians 5.6. So therefore, let us not sleep. Let us not sleep as do others. But let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. There is a great tragedy in life. A tragedy that has escorted many people in 2015 to where we are now. People show up in the world asleep. They live their life sleeping and die sleeping. It is a tragedy. Human beings marry asleep. They handle business asleep. They raise children asleep. They go to work asleep. They make friends asleep. They eat asleep. Only very few wake up. Any dear Luigi. This is a serious matter. And like a sleeping man may find it hard to drag himself into the flow of life. Many people are so sleepy they are not in the correct flow of their destiny. Twenty sixteen is around the corner. You can either awake to your correct life or you go back to sleep. You may awake from physical sleep but may not wake up spiritually. The world has become a place now where spiritual development is no longer a luxury but a must. You either grow spiritually or you are wasted. It is a battle to remain awake enough. Then to, the, to become fully active, another battle. Unfortunately, a lot of women being specialized in distractions. And a lot of people are sleep, sleepwalking through life. You need to make up your mind. Because the worst spiritual state any Christian can fall into is to become untouched unmoved by the word of God is for you to become resistant to the word of God you become a salmon proof Christian you no longer tremble and fear at the word of God then you are asleep and it is a terrible state to be. The unfortunate thing 
Because this state is so rampant. No sorrow for sin anymore. No repentance. The church has become an entertainment center. Sometimes so difficult to know the difference between those going to church and those going to the disco parties. It's a dangerous condition to be when you have hardness of heart and the word of God no longer penetrates your heart. A lot of people are spiritually asleep. And that sleep is a dangerous sleep. Abraham slept off Abraham by his offering. It was a strange sleep in Genesis 15. The result of that sleep was 430 years of slavery. But you see, for worldly things, people don't sleep. You put a juju musician or someone, a disco musician or a rap musician on stage, everybody's awake. You put two people on stage undressing themselves and becoming naked in the, in the face of the crowd. Nobody sleeps off. If you put people in examination all, it's difficult to sleep in the if they are in the football match, they don't sleep off. When they go to bank to collect money and the cashier is counting the money, they don't sleep off at that time. But when issues concerning their souls are being tabled, people sleep off. People run like madmen. To money making ventures. But when it comes to things of the world to come, and for eternity, they're very sluggish. They're working out for the present world. But they're playing games to the world to come. We are like snails to music. When it comes to spiritual things, many become dumb and dull. Immediately, spiritual things have been discussed. Many make lame vows, lame promises. They made some promises to God early this year but they never kept them. People sleep when every things have been placed before them. I'm here to warn you now. Unless you shake yourself from that slumber and depart from the bed of the lazy we are heading for serious trouble. You sleep spiritual sleep to your own injury. That's why the Bible says, let us not sleep as others do. Just like those disciples slept at the Garden of Gethsemane. And they were scattered. Just like Samson lost his strength. Samson lost his liberty. Samson lost his eyes. And ultimately his life. Because he slept. He slept. That sleep on the lap of Delilah caused him his life. Many are engaged in this destructive sleep. Many are not challenged to what is happening around them. Many are sleeping away in an environment they think is comfortable. Totally oblivious of the raging wild wind around them. When you are at ease in the middle of what can destroy you, 
And when you are prepared no weapon to fight, this is a dangerous state indeed. The church is not a dormitory for sleepers. The church is a military barracks to attack the enemy. The church is not a resting camp, but a frontline battle trench. Unfortunately, to the admiration of the devil and to the admiration of the agents of darkness, believers are either consciously or consciously snoring away in the ship of this world. Bombarded by the storms of iniquity. Lucifer is surveying our lives. Lucifer in to see whether we're going to wake up. That or we're going to be. I be out there. What he wants us to be, not what God wants us to be. If you are sleeping spiritually, then your correct life has been disabled. You are a shadow of every expectation. And you lack the capacity to be useful. Once you are sleeping spiritually, your real destiny will be like a mirage. You will not know where to throw your net in the ocean of life. You will work hard, but others will get the credit. You will be blamed for other people's offenses. If you are, as, if you are asleep, in spite of your talents and intelligence, you will always be ignored. You will make massive inputs, but very little results. Because you are asleep. They're always pushing you to the back. Pushing you to the back. You will possess powerful credentials. But not be able to do anything with them. You'll be leaving right behind every expectation for your life. It means you are asleep. When your spiritual life is dry and mechanical, no supernatural manifestation, no dream, no vision, no voice from heaven, and miracles are very rare. And God looks distant and powerless. Then you are sleeping. And you need to wake up. Unfortunately, churches have not done too much to help. The kind of Christians we have now is due to the kind of messages that are preached to them. We have plenty of junk messages. When you are knee deep into prostitution and fornication and somebody is telling you, Oh yes, the devil is under your feet. 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 Then the consciousness of the Beni, it should be a bit at a level. I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Beni, Beni, Beni. You know you are a fornicator. Oh my God, I get it, yo. And they say, if you know the devil is under your feet, say, hey. Once you need to buy my bed, you get a bit at a level. So I go, hey, you want to say, hey. Junk messages. It was with your new phone. There is plenty of sugar messages we preach. That you are going to the top. You are going to the top. When your legs are already broken. And you have not mended it. And Jesus did not say. Jesus will be. That you are the sugar of the earth. He said you are the salt of the earth. Many are lost in the churches. Many pastors are confused. They don't even know what they are doing anymore. We preach a lot of soft 
drink messages. Alcoholic messages. Valueless messages to people. Vain messages. The anointing messages. Seducing messages. Hell magnetizing messages. Vagabond messages. No wonder. The enemy has succeeded so much. So much. You need to decide. 2016 is around the corner. You need to make wake. You need to wake up. Wake up. G. The clarion call to you this day. Whoever you have, whatever you have, whatever is your name. Wake up from whatever slumber the enemy has put you. When you are wide awake spiritually, your life becomes a testimony. You experience miracles that will shock your enemies. When you are alive spiritually, fellow human beings will think you are a spirit. When you are alive spiritually, terrible things happen to those who challenge God in your life. You become a pain setter. You become an environmental transformer. When you are alive spiritually. These days, we have a lot of titles. Titles without power. Names without authority. Beautiful looks, beautiful environment, but no fire. I pray as many as are listening to me now and the devil has found them to sleep I decree in the name of him who is above all Jesus Christ the son of the living God that you must wake up from that sleep in the name of Jesus let your amen roar like thunder you have another opportunity before stepping into another year not to allow the enemy to find you to sleep and just do what he wants with your life not to allow the enemy to start rejoicing over your destiny simply because you are spiritually asleep. You claim to be awake but you are asleep walking through life. You need to wake up. All eyes closed. There is a serious session of prayer we must have and it is compulsory before we step into the coming year. Pray then with reckless violence. Don't, don't allow anybody's voice to be louder than yours. If you brought children here and they can talk and they are asleep, wake them up to pray this prayer. They have to pray this prayer. Let nobody's voice be louder than yours. And make sure that you touch every with your prayer. Everybody remains standing now. Can you shout this loud and clear? Glory, Meet my glory oh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Command them to permit your glory. Yes. In 
Jesus then we pray silence the power of God is about to fall on 50 people. These 50 people will not be able to stand on their feet. But the glory stolen from them from their mother's womb. Can you shout this loud and clear? Glory, Robert! Vomit my glory! Command them to vomit your glory. Yes. Makapote seteli kayaba. Banika tende ya boshente la makasanta. Riba sapanda kaya boshente. Nika tende raba. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. The power of God is about to fall on 50 people. These 50 people will not be able to stand on their feet. But the glory stolen from them from their mother's womb will be reinstated instantly. As I count seven from here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yes. Recover your glory. Recover it. Yes, they must hand it over. All the glory stolen from the womb. Recover, recover, recover. That's, that's the first person. That's the second person. That's the third person. That's the power of God coming upon Amen. Amen. Say, glory killers of my father's heart. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Command the glory killers to die. Something is happening over there. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. We are making amazing progress. Say, my stolen glory. Shout it with fire. Your voice is not loud enough. I recover you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Recover, recover, recover. Recover your stolen glory.
Thank you, Jesus. It Thank you, Jesus. It changes you. In Jesus' name we pray. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. Father, I pray. For those gathered here. Those connected to this program. That have enemies. Who have made it a full time assignment to attack and trouble their Israel? I'm praying for those who are here. That any time they are at the edge of glory, miracle, something goes wrong and they lose the breakthrough. I'm praying for those who are here. Everything that belongs to them were stolen this year. And Lord, it's important they recover before we go into the next year. I'm praying for such people now. All the glory stolen from you. Whether it is convenient for the enemy or not. Whether the enemy likes it or not. Recover them now. Recover. 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 Recover, 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 Aha, baby. Look at what is happening now. Your head is the symbol of your destiny. Grab that head with your two hands. Grab your head with your two hands. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every oil of glory. Stolen from my head. I said, Sister, here we should be shouting this. And you are talking like a gentlewoman. Can I hear the sister shouting it? Sisters, can you try a bit harder? Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Brothers, please do better than that. Everybody shouting this now. Come back by fire. In the name of Jesus. Command the oil to come back to your head. Recover, 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 Something is happening, something is happening. Aha, aha. That head is on fire. It's on fire. It's on fire. But put the head. Ribbon, but contend the care. But Pia did contend the Rabo Santa. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus. Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. I'm going to count seven from here now. Some people are going to feel a cold touch upon their head. Some will feel the fire upon their head. Immediately that happens to you. Your life story has changed. Silence. Father, Baba, we have asked for a recovery of the oil of glory that was stolen. You covered holding the oil. Listen to me. You are a thief. The oil does not belong to you. You wish power holding the glory of anyone here. You have no right to sit on the glory of the children of God. And so, Lord, upon every head here, whose oil of excellence, oil of breakthrough, oil of good luck, oil of great things, oil of forward movement, oil of equal swearing has been stolen. Right there where you are, in the name which is above all this, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, recover your hand. Recover your oil. Recover. 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 Recover your oil. Makatende ya boshende raba. In the name of Jesus. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. That's a fire. That's a power. 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 Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Release her husband. Release her children. Release her breakthrough. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. I don't want to care whether you're from the waters. I don't want to care whether you're from the forest. Let her go. Let her go. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. You can't hide. <laughs> you can't hide. You were hiding in 2015. You can't hide now. Ma potasa, lika, polia, kayabo shanta. Shout this with boiling anger. I fire back. I fire back. Every arrow fired into my head. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Open your mouth and decree.
This is a time of recovery. This is not a time to joke. Yes. Then. Makaponda ya bo shende ya bo sotonde ke ya bo. Ribo soponde ke ya bo shente. Amen. Amen. I have a word for 21 persons. The Lord said I should tell you that the long standing yoke that has been pursuing you is broken now in the name of Jesus. Are you that person over there? The Lord said, I should tell you that this enemy assigned to terminate your life. You shall bury that enemy. In the name of Jesus. And where you have been frustrated this year you shall be celebrated in the same place you will shout this loud and clear say Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is that the loudest you can call his name? Arise! Lift up my head! In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and begin to pray like that! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Arise! Lift up my head. Lift up my head. Lift up my head. Lift up my head. Let's go, man. 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 Let